Hi all you lovely kings, queens, and in-betweens, and welcome back to another Let's Play here on the channel. Today, I'm joined by Jeremy, and we're playing... Hello. The... You tried to talk over me. You introduced me, so I said hello. The Yo Sushi game. Yeah, it's Jenga with chopsticks, and <laughs> sushi things that have little faces on them. There are multiple game modes, but we're going to play the basic bro version, which is Jenga with chopsticks. So you got to use the chopsticks to move around the little pieces... And they're little little baby chopsticks. So, uh, uh, here goes. What happens if you drop the if you drop it? I don't know. Does that mean you lose? <laughs> I don't think so. I think it's just like if you knock over the tower. Knock over the tower. It's very hard to do. It's very see me struggling. They need to make bigger chopsticks for us adults with the big hands. There we go. I mean, that's not particularly straight, but we'll let you get away with it. Hey, hey. You're just jealous of my chopstick skills. See, so you're just unseating the whole thing, so I wreck it. That's a sinister strategy, sir. I'm just saying, one of us was a lot faster than the other. I'm just saying that one of us actually eats sushi sometimes. Oh no, I've been insulted apparently. I mean, I eat sushi sometimes. It's just not one of my go-tos. What's your favorite food now, Jer? A good burger is still my favorite food. That's what I thought, Jer. I just noticed there are little divots in the middle. And this one looks like it has baguettes on top. I could go with a nice chef or cob salad too. I'm a I'm a fan of chef salads and cob salads. But they have to be good ones. What constitutes a bad salad, Jeremy? Lack of toppings. It's not really small amount of dressing or complete lack of dressing when the restaurant Sis, that in fact it gave you dressing, but it totally didn't give you dressing. It's just wet lettuce. I mean, yeah, that's not good either. But if you go to like a fancier place and they give you a salad, it typically has less dressing. I'm only saying one of us keeps dropping their pieces and one of us is not dropping their pieces. I can't handle it. It's so tiny. And I'm also entertaining the people. Look at look at me struggle with this whale of a sushi. It's like whale colored. See it? Do you See not it? know how to use chopsticks? I feel like you know how to use chopsticks better than I do usually. Why are you being so bad at this? Because I usually grip like really far up top and this isn't allowing me to do that because they're shorter than the chopsticks I'm used to. So I can't. You have to straighten that out. I don't have to do nothing. That's not legitimately placed on the top. You got to straighten that out. <sighs> I'm also not used to it having like the little white magnetic. That's fine. Mine's not in the middle, so I won't. Grippy grip thing that they put on the bottom. I am going to move it over a little bit because it's just going to make it harder on me. So I'm going to take, grab this one. Oh, damn. I was doing so much better than you do. Oh, well. So uh, let's talk about this version of Jenga and what we think the of the Oh Sushi game, shall we? Yeah. So I think the first thing that I have an issue with is, I don't know if you remember the OG Jenga from your youth, but it's stacked in a way in the box where you can just flip the box over and for the most part just you know take yeah. everything out and it's there for you. This comes with a plastic insert, so you physically have to stack it yourself. There's really... I mean, it has like little divots in the box, but there's no way to do that with this version of the yeah. game. It takes a while to stack it too, because they don't, they're very slidey. So like they don't stay very effectively. So you wind up with like an unstable tower in the beginning and then slippery pieces on top of that. It honestly takes longer to stack it than it does to play the game. But yeah. I think it's interesting that it uses the chopsticks. I think that's an extra fun little element because, you know, Jenga is Jenga, but adding the extra element. And then there's other game modes, so 
I do wish the chopsticks, like as I was saying, as I was playing, were a little bigger because I think like the size is just very strange. I mean, you can use your own chopsticks. These are just chopsticks. I mean. They just don't have the grip things. And I don't know if you used regular chopsticks if you'd be able to. You kind of need the grips to be able to hold it. If you were just using wooden chopsticks, I don't think it would hold on to it. The sushi loves each other. It's got little faces on it. Yeah, they have little faces. It's cute. I like the artwork. And, yeah, I like it for what it is. It's not bad. I just wish the game could last longer. I think it's designed to teach you chopstick skills, and we clearly aren't that skilled with chopsticks. That is what we learned today. Yes, but if we kept playing this, we might get better at chopsticks. So we should keep playing with this game, see if we get better at chopsticks next year. Like a year from now, we'll have a like rematch and see if we last more than two minutes. Yeah. It'll be great. It will be great. I look forward to it. Me too. Something that I always look forward to is this game content here on the channel. You set me up for the segue. Whoop, whoop. Like the video if you like it. Comment down below and let us know what are your chopstick skills like? How are you at Jenga? Have you played giant Jenga? Backtrack a little bit. Do you prefer wooden or plastic chopsticks? Yeah. That's or are you asking me? No, I'm, I'm speaking in general oh, okay. to the people. Also to you if you want. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I prefer wooden ones, typically. Oh. You got me a, a pair of metal ones that I can take with me, though. Yeah, I got you travel chopsticks, and I also have lightsaber chopsticks. Yeah. That we really should bust out sometime. Mm-hmm. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of this content going forward, and ring that bell so you know what's up. We will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Tasia Valenza, a.k.a. Poison Ivy, and you've just been watching King's Entertainment Reviews. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and watch.